If you've got a space like this, we'll show you how to build this. It's a great new swing day bed, and you'll find all the details in the Australian Handyman magazine. There's everything you need, including the methods, the steps, and all the tips and tricks that you'll need to do a great job. Hi, I'm Stuart from Australian Handyman magazine. How are you doing? I'm here to show you the latest project from Australian Handyman magazine, which you can see in the printed copy of the magazine as well. Uh, it's this day bed that's right behind me. Now, there's a number of features about this day bed that I really like. It's very generous, it's king size, plenty of room for two people to climb up and relax. Big broad, hand, uh, big broad arms on it, you can rest a plate or a cup. But the best thing I like about it is it's suspended. So we can just gently rock like this. So it's you know, a rocking day bed. And there's nothing more relaxing than, uh, than lying there and just gently rocking like that. Now this existing pergola, uh, we reinforce the outside beam uh, with another beam above there and then hung the day bed from the shackles there and added this knee brace to brace the whole structure up. And you need to do that kind of thing to really, because uh, the, the day bed weighs about 80 kilos. You can potentially have another 150, 160 kilos of people on board. So uh, it's important to make sure that the structure is capable of handling it. Now all the detail is in the magazine, but there's a video to follow and we'll show you a little bit about how to, how to build this. Very simple techniques using uh, just butt joints and screws, a bit of glue. Uh, we use the Woodhouse weatherproof range of timber. Very, very easy to work with um, and that makes the whole process a bit of a snap. So if you want to give it a go, jump right in. We'll show you how to do it. Let's assemble the lower frame. A good drop saw will ensure all your cuts are clean and accurate. Clamp the work securely and then drill 4.5mm pilot holes. Countersink the holes to around about 40mm and then secure with batten screws. Mark the ledger height, tack in place, drill pilot holes. and then fix with batten screws. Put the base slats to length and then fix in place with glue and brad nails. Cut some blocks to make spacing your slats easy. But beware about accumulating errors. Flip the base and cut the centre brace to length. Check fit it. A small chamfer will make the work neat. Write the base again and then fix the slats to the centre brace with brad nails. Glue and tack the posts and arm supports in place. Cut the upper and lower back supports to length and notch the upper back support to go around the back posts. Glue and tack in place with brads. Use plenty of PVA glue and it cleans up easily with a damp rag. Check the back supports are square and when happy, fix off with batten screws. Fix the top rail from underneath with batten screws. Note that the back slats have a 7 degree bevel on the ends so that they sit flush against the lower frame in the back cap. Notch the arm around the back post and then fix in place with glue and brad nails. Finish fixing off any remaining slats. Punch and fill all the nail holes and screw heads. Once dry, sand smooth 
and then refinish with a timber preservative and primer. Give the whole bed a light sand. Finish it with two coats of premium quality exterior paint. I hope you enjoyed the video and you've now got everything you need to go out and uh, build one of these great swinging day beds for yourself. Here's all the information you'll need, plus some tips to get the job done.